Hi, I'm Ray Penning. This is Special Edition Education Matters. It's part of our eighth grade dialogue series where we talk to eighth graders from throughout the state about their experience during the pandemic and education in general. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it. This segment will have students from the uh, county of Salem County down at the very bottom of New Jersey. Um, so we'll get right to it. Um, so, uh, you know, I talked about the pandemic. Your seventh and eighth grade year has not been the same as everyone else's seventh and eighth grade year in the past few years, uh, as far as I can remember. So, you know, you did you get any lessons learned, any things that you were difficult? And um, so, uh, and also just tell us where you're from too. Kaya, why don't we start with you? Um, um, I am from Alloway Township School. And a lesson that I definitely learned was to be able to easily adapt to all of the abrupt changes and understanding how to learn this new way of learning that we have discovered through the pandemic and quarantine was definitely a lesson I learned. Okay, was that a positive in your mind? I would say it was a positive because it definitely prepares um, us for the future and anything that comes later in life. Great. Aaron, what about you? Hello, my name is Aaron Sorrell from the Oldman's Township School. I would say that uh, one of the biggest changes in my seventh grade year would be um, for the first half of the year I was virtual and then coming back into the schoolhouse, um, but only being, uh, but only it being a half of a day rather than a full day. And I would say that that was, um, it was a positive change to come back into school, but I would say a negative change to only be here for half of a day because that's never how school has been. And Lily, what about you? Um, I'm Lily Breslin and I'm from Elsinboro School. One thing that I learned was to never give up because when COVID first started, my area of town did not have internet access. So I had to come up with very creative ways to attend school. Uh, Kamaya, what about you? I'm Kamaya Davis from Salem Middle School and one thing that I learned, well, helped me, was uh, probably virtual. It was tough. Okay, and uh, Sophia, what about your experience? I'm Sophia Ballinger from Manning Township School, and, and I had more patience because it's, it's really hard being on virtual, especially when your internet's not working. Okay. Um, yeah, that's a little, you know, what? Uh, we'll come back to you. We may have to edit that. You didn't have a good connection right there, Sophia. I, di I didn't hear you very well. Um, we'll come back. We'll, okay. Eric, what about you? Hi, my name is Eric. I'm from Pittsgrove Township Middle School. Um, a positive lesson I learned from this is to be resilient because throughout all of this, it was, you know, hard to not want to just shut down and not want to keep going. But I learned to keep going and, you know, not to quit. It just very valuable lesson right there. Great. It is a good lesson. Uh, Brianna. Hello, I'm Brianna Iacona from Woodstown Middle School. And throughout the pandemic, I went through a lot of self discovery. And it kind of taught me things about myself. So I learned that I'm a people person and that being with my friends and teachers in person is very important to my education. Hey, Sophia, what about you, your experience? Well, especially now, but I've been like learning patience with devices and internet. Here's a great example of that. <laughs> well, oh yeah, sorry. My name is Sophia Ballinger and I'm from Mannington Township School and I've had to learn patience because it's very hard with the devices and the internet and when it's slow and virtual learning. Okay. Uh, the next question is, um, you, you weren't the only ones going through this. It was also the staff, the teachers, uh, also had to deal with some of these changes too. Uh, was there any teacher or staff member uh, who had a big impact on you uh, uh, recently? Uh, or actually you can go as far back as you want. Kaya, why don't we start with you? Um, I had an aide who stuck with my grade for uh, until last year, um, since we were in kindergarten, and she very much encouraged me and my peers to be the best version of us we could be. And she was very persistent in us, and she never gave up hope on us. 
and that has always stuck with me she basically raised us and we were part of we were basically your kids <laughs> that's nice that's nice Aaron what about you I would say some of my most influential teachers would be um, my science teacher, Mr. Winnestoffer, my math teacher, Ms. Taggart, my English teacher, um, Mrs. Hess, and my former English teacher, Mrs. Bakula. And, um, you know, all, all the, really just all of my main teachers, they've all uh, pushed me to be the best person that I could be and uh, always has stuck by my side. And they have always told me that anything that I put my mind to, I could certainly do it. That's great. That's great. Uh, Lily, what about you? Uh, it's very hard to choose because I come from such a small school, so I'm very close with most of my teachers. But if I had to choose, it would probably be my science teacher, Mr. Sarbello, because I love science and he was able to teach me so much more about science. And he also made it so that I believe in myself more than I used to. Tamaya, what about you? Uh, all of my teachers have had a big impact on me, especially my literacy teacher, Miss Montgomery, because she's funny and we can always be honest with her. Eric? Most of my teachers have had a big impact on me, but my algebra teacher, Mr. Rainey, has had the biggest impact on me. He has always pushed me and he's always said I can do the best. I can do whatever I put my mind to. And he said, he's always there for me. He's like walking around the classroom, ready to answer your question. He's not behind his desk, focusing on something else. He's focusing on the students. Okay, Brianna, what about you? So my chorus teacher had the biggest impact in, on me because she's just an amazing person. And throughout the pandemic, she always tried to do her best for the kids so we could sing and do all these activities that we really couldn't do. And even though it was hard, she made everyone feel good doing what they loved. All right, Sophia? Well, a lot of teachers had an impact on me throughout my school years, but I would say Mrs. Sigler, who is my ELA and algebra teacher, had the most impact on me, mostly because I've learned a lot in her classes. And as well as since we don't have an algebra teacher at our school, we go to Quinton for our algebra. And we have a Zoom meeting, and it's kind of difficult to learn with that. And Ms. Fair has really helped me understand the course. That's great. A little piece of advice after we air all these uh, videos, you should share that part with the teacher that you talked about, because I think it'll make them feel good. Um, one of the other things we want to do is ask what your, your opinion is on school. If your principal or the superintendent or any school leader came to you and said, what, what would you suggest that we do in our school that would make the educational experience better for most students? Uh, so what would you tell them? Kaya. Um, I feel that before COVID, our school was very good at school spirit with um, a lot of pep rallies and stuff. And now that COVID has hit, it's been more hard to incorporate that type of stuff into our school year and our marking periods. And I would just like to see that come back for the kids behind us and more pep rallies and school spirit and a lot more spirit weeks. I'd love to see that come back for the kids behind me. That's a, that's a yeah, good suggestion. Aaron, what about you? What are your thoughts? Uh, I agree with Kaya. I would say um, our school do, still does do Spirit Week. Uh, however, I will say more pep rallies coming back, especially at the end of the year, you know, it gets warmer and stuff. But then I would also say uh, more one-on-one -on -one time between the uh, the student and the teacher, because I know a lot of people's uh, problem is necessarily like the teacher giving them work and them not understanding it or not uh, them being afraid to ask for help. So I would say more one-on-one -on -one time between the teacher and the student would be much needed to further the education of our peers. Okay, Lily, what about you? I would say that kids should have options of elective classes so that they could challenge themselves in more subjects that they enjoy. Tamaya? Um, the consistency of uh, the excitement of the school because I never actually had a normal middle school experience at all. Uh, every year something has went wrong, but Hopefully, the consistency can help. Well, hopefully, that'll come back the next few years. Like I said before, your your seventh and eighth grade years has been a little more different than everyone else's. Eric, what about you? One thing I would change about our educational experience 
is to incorporate something like a brain break throughout the day. I think that these brain breaks would be very effective in helping boost educational learning and it creates, it gives the students a chance to bond with other students and the teacher, which COVID has taken away. And I feel like it would be great for socializing. For example, you know, you could have like different stations in the class where the kids can talk with the teacher or with each other and socialize, or they could do activities to de-stress and have a good time with each other for like 15 minutes. Oh, that's an interesting concept. Uh, Brianna, what about you? Um, I really like my school experience, and but if there was one thing I could change, I would probably recommend more academic opportunities for higher level students so they could have more opportunities to challenge themselves. All right. And Sophia. One thing I would change about my school, I mean, mine's kind of different from everyone else's, but it's probably be the school lunches because they used to be so good and then they just started changing them. I mean, probably to cut costs and stuff, but they're just not as good as they used to be. Okay, uh, that's an interesting one. I like I like all your ideas, actually. I think uh, they have a lot of merit, um, especially, uh, uh, you know, the bringing back of the school spirit and all that stuff and, and the brain breaks. Maybe I'll see if I can get my boss to do it w with us at work, at least. Um, so um, you're going to be going into high school next year. Um, you know, and that's a big transition, especially coming from hopefully it will be all in person and normal. Uh, what are some of the things that you're looking forward to in um, high school and maybe some things that make you nervous? Kaya. I'm definitely looking forward to being successfully both academically and athletically and probably socially too. Um, just and living my best four years of high school experience I can. And I'm probably a little bit nervous about we're such a small school at Alloway of going from that small school to a bigger school and like my groups of friends changing and all of that stuff much change. Yep. Uh, Aaron. Uh, one thing that I look forward to in high school is uh, simply just meeting new people, uh, becoming, you know, creating very such strong bonds with people, um, being able to uh, have, uh, put much trust into my uh, teachers and leaders. And um, one thing that I might just be a little nervous about is uh, just a uh, schedule change because um the high school that I'm going to, the hours will be shorter than where I'm at. However, the classes will be so very much different. Yep, yep. Lily, what about you? I'm looking forward to being challenged with new schoolwork and also about learning, or not learning, <laughs> meeting new people. Um, I'm really nervous about going from such a small school to a bigger school with a lot more people in it. Yep, yep. And Kamaya? I'm just excited for the change and the new environment. And Eric. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing my sister and playing on the football team. Uh, one thing I'm, I'm not really nervous about anything because I've had four siblings who've gone through this high school and they've all told me about what to expect and about the teachers I'll get. Well, that's good. Uh, Brianna. I'm excited for harder classes so I can challenge myself, but I'm a little nervous socially since most of my friends aren't going to be in those harder classes or moving away to different schools. All right, and Sophia. I'm excited for like the new challenging work and the new experiences that going to a new school is going to bring, but I'm nervous about like just meeting new people and all because I've been at the same school for 10 years and all my friends are going to Salem and I'm going to a different high school. Oh, okay. So you all have that little nervousness about, it's exciting to meet new people, but it's also nervous. Okay, finally, do you have any future goals? Have you ever thought about what you wanna do after you get out of high school, go to college, maybe even a career? Don't worry, I'm not going to hold you to this. I'm not going to call you up in 15 years and say, you told me you were going to be a doctor and now you're not. So Kaya, what are you? Um, I have most of my future kind of planned out. I have big hopes. I want to have a good high school career and keep up good academically and then move on to become a pediatric surgeon when I'm older. It's a very big dream of mine. <laughs> 
Okay. I, maybe I will call you up to find out where you are. Uh, Aaron, what about you? I actually want to go and pursue my dream in law. And then after that, I want to go uh, even further and really strive for a doctorate in theological studies and in divinity. Wow. Okay. And Lily, what about you? In high school, I hope to enter the IB program at Salem High School and then end up moving on to being a veterinarian when I'm older. All right. Kamaya, what about you? Um, I hope to be able to graduate college and also be able to own my own business one day. Okay, great. And Eric? Uh, I hope to go in the military and to become a Navy SEAL eventually and eventually get my pension and have my own construction business as a side. Well, you have a plan. All, you already have your pension down. Wow. Uh, uh, Brianna. Uh, throughout my high school and college, I hope to pursue my music career and just follow my dream. Great. And last but not least, Sophia. I hope to get into Woodstown High School and I just applied. My interview was actually yesterday. I hope to go to college, although I'm not sure what for yet and I might be reaching kind of high but I hope to be valedictorian of my eighth grade year okay all right that brings us to the end of this uh discussion with uh, the eighth grade students from uh Salem County I was very impressed uh, I think the hard part is realizing that you're only eighth graders uh you seem like you have a well thought out career plan and Sophia I never knew what I wanted to do either <laughs> until I got into college. So uh, there's no pressure yet. So that brings us to the end of this. I hope you enjoy it. Please share it with your friends.